The stroke team at Barnes Jewish Hospital has a saying that time is brain. When diagnosing an acute stroke, the goal is to treat it as soon as possible to drastically lessen the patient's level of disability. Their best weapon is the clot-busting stroke drug, TPA. And the way this drug works is it dissolves blood clots that block arteries to the brain, which cause strokes. And, and so the earlier one delivers this drug, the more effective it is, and the more likely a patient will be to recover from the stroke. One of the most crucial elements in this treatment is tracking the door to needle time. This is the amount of time it takes to administer TPA after a patient enters the hospital. For the past three or four years, our average door to needle times have been about 60 minutes. And this is actually quite good uh, compared to the national average. However, um, we thought we could do better. A team of stroke clinicians and emergency department staff studied every second of treatment to see where there was wasted time. They relied on a system first used by Japanese car manufacturers called Lean Principles. We've applied some of these principles specifically to um, TPA delivery, uh, where we view this as every second is critical. Where can we save time? We were the first, one of the first areas to really try that process that includes things like videotaping a mock patient to see how many times you go to a different cabinet or go in and out of the room. In doing so, what we found was that there was a lot of time wasted and uh, what we had to do was identify where that time took place and we also identified measures that we could take to uh, minimize that wasted time. And so uh, what we decided to do is radically change the protocol that we use for evaluating and treating acute stroke patients. One of the most significant changes involve the emergency crews who are the first to assess the patient. The biggest thing we had to do was that we had to say when a patient walks in the door or when they're called by the EMS crew to say that they're bringing in a patient with stroke-like symptoms, we say, meet us at the CT scanner. And then that patient starts the diagnosis process without an additional delay in time. Another uh, major change that we made was to uh, incorporate point of care uh, testing. So up till now, we've been relying on sending blood uh, labs to the central lab. However, there are several tests that we can use that can be tested right at the bedside. Once the final decisions were made, it didn't take long for the emergency department staff to make the changes. When we said, okay, we're gonna change stroke overnight, the staff all went, okay, we can do it. And they did, instantly. It was a, within a three-day change. They completely changed everything they were doing. Our door-to-needle time was roughly about 60 minutes. And over the last two months, that door-to-needle time has decreased to about half of that, to about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And from what I know in the published literature, this is perhaps some of the fastest times that we've seen in this country. We are making sure that a life-saving and disability-preventing treatment is available as early as possible. Any brain cells we can save means Somebody can go fishing with their grandson. Somebody can still drive their kids to the school, um, still go to work. And it's just those, those individual little minutes mean so much brain tissue.